This is Manny with the LARP.com crew, and today we are interviewing Brianna Earhart. How are you doing, Brianna? I'm good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me tonight. Uh, the LARP.com crew is conducting this interview in order to get the true story of LARPers. So if it's okay, we'll go ahead and start. Um, so, Brianna, did you have any initial thoughts about what LARP meant before attending your first event? So probably the only thing that I knew about LARP before attending my first event or even really hearing about the first event that I attended was more um, like SCA related. I had a few friends who um, did like SCA related stuff and a lot of boffer type things. So that was really the only thing that I knew about LARP. Oh, cool. That's how I started, too. I started in boffer. I started in DAG, actually, and then I got solely into boffer, so... Gotta love a buffer LARP, that's for sure. So, did, did like a friend or like a family member get you into the idea of LARPing or attending your first event? Yeah, so actually a friend from college got me into LARPing. We were just kind of chilling um, over winter break and uh, she had been LARPing a few times and was telling me about a LARP she was going to attend. Um, and so I had ended up checking it out at one point on a random, like, late night of curiosity, um, saw the premise of the story, realized that, like, wow, I actually kind of want to go to this, and then ended up signing up for it. So it's like an escape. Yeah, I, I can agree to that. It's 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 interesting. At first, you're like, would I do this? But then you, like, you actually get into it, you're like, I love this. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. So what... Um, what would you say from your first event, if you would have known or wish you would have been better prepared for anything, what do you think it would be? Um, well, I definitely would not have um, saved packing until the night before. That is something I wish I would have known before um, attempting to do it. It's a, it's a lot of stuff. And also that I don't, I don't need to pack that much stuff um it's not it's not like a vacation where you're you know i may need this so i'm gonna pack it anyway um i don't i guess i wish i would have known that um like ev like everyone's there to you know have fun and enjoy themselves and like that i'm not going to be the only like weird or strange person in the room that's all of us in the room at the same time so Exactly. And I like I like that fact that you think that way because at my first LARP, I thought, you know, I mean, I only really knew one person. I knew a couple people, but it was it was weird at first. And I was like, am I going to be accepted? Then I realized everybody's just here to do the same thing. They're here to have fun, just like you said. Um, and they're here to play their character and play their story. Yeah. So what kind of LARP do you most often like to attend? So I've only done blockbuster LARPing um, and one other LARP that is basically um, akin to the style of blockbuster LARPing. Um, so I, I guess I like attending blockbuster LARPing. <laughs> so what what blockbusters have you attended so far? So I've attended uh, Real Royalty both 2018 and 2019 with Hanging Lantern Games. Nice. I've done Armistice, Arcane, The Crowley Chronicles with Peculiar Crossroads Productions, um, and I will also be attending their Kingsford Chronicles um, for 2021 and hopefully 2022. Um, and then I've also attended Velvet Noir, which is a LARP run by Entropic Endeavors that is run quarterly four times a year um, out in Pennsylvania near State College. Okay. Um, so I definitely have heard of a lot of those LARPs. All really, really fun. Guys, if you haven't done so, check them out. Uh, by the way, I heard you shout out to Hanging Lantern. Yeah, I know, uh, know a couple yeah. of those guys out there. They're pretty cool too. Love Hanging Lantern. So what types of roles would you say that you like to play the most in these LARPs? Oh, well, I don't know if, I've particularly attended enough to be sort of, I don't know, like figure out what kind of role I like playing. Um, you, usually I will go for a role that I haven't 
played before, if that makes sense. I'm a, I'm a theater person, so I um, do like any, and also I like exploring things that aren't necessarily close to me, but um, I think definitely whatever I do, I end up uh, getting engaged in a lot of plot related things or just in a lot of um, really close and emotional role play. Okay. So from your first event until now, how do you think LARP or your view of LARP has changed over time? Um, well, before my first event, I really thought um, that this was like going to be like, you know, really high stakes and you got to be perfect all the time and like in character and super immersed. And now I'm just like, you know, this is really just a long form improvisation for a weekend. Um, and it's not all incredibly serious all the time. And in fact, I enjoy um, like stuff that has happened out of game as well as in game too. Right. It's definitely an experience. Um, that's for sure. Um, I know when I get home from a LARP, sometimes I feel that that drag, like uh, back in reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to go back. Um, so, would you say that mm -hmm. LARP has positively affected your life? Oh yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, I only started LARPing um, in May of 2018, right after I had graduated college. So it was a huge life change for me, um, just in general. Um, and I think just even looking back on 2018 and 2019 alone, just like, I guess the change in personality I've had since then has just been incredibly huge and tremendous and has helped a lot. Um, like just like on the mental health side of things. So. Okay. That's really good. Um, I try to stress to people that. LARPing, people who haven't LARPed before, I mean, I try to stress to them, you know, you'll look at it one way, but then once you get into it, you're going to look at it from a totally different side and be like, this is mm -hmm. so good for, it's good for the soul. It, it is. It's healthy for you. Yeah. Um, now, are there any upcoming events that you are looking forward to going to? Yes. So next month I will be attending Velvet Noir. I had mentioned before that it is uh, run by Entropic Endeavors. Um, and that is a LARP that is set in, I think the current year is 1929. Wow. Um, and it's a LARP that is made to explore um, a lot of stories of marginalized and um, oppressed uh, races and identities. Um, and all those things. And uh, that, God, I love that community. It's really created um, like a safe place to explore those things. So um, about your characters that you play, um, are you, are you garbed up now? I am garbed up now. Tell me a little bit about that. I don't look like it, but I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this character. All right. Well, right now you're currently looking at uh, Gracie Mae Price. Uh, I play her as well as her twin sister in Velvet Noir. Um, and she is, Gracie is, uh, and, and her sister, they're both really spoiled um, rich brats. Um, and that that's uh, what I'm exploring um, at Velvet Noir, how, how, um, privilege uh how privilege uh rides up against um those marginalized and oppressed identities i was talking about okay um so my last question for you and it is my favorite question um because everybody in the LARP community has such bright minds and is so creative and i'm sure you're one of those people <laughs> can you tell me if you had an idea for next greatest up-and-coming LARP what would it be? Ooh, well, um, let's see. If I had to come up with that, it would definitely be like a consent-based, like collaborative storytelling game. Um, 
probably something to do with ghosts and mermaids. I don't know. Definitely ghosts and mermaids. So. <laughs> Interesting There's combo. There's in there somewhere. <laughs> Interesting combo. Um, so thank you, Brianna. I really do appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. Uh, shout out to Vela Noir, Hanging Lantern, and Tropic Endeavors. And shout out to Brianna for being a sport. Um, we do appreciate you taking the time telling us your story. This is exactly what we're we're going out here for. We're talking to everybody. We want to hear stories just like you. Um, so, Brianna, thank you again. You have a wonderful evening, okay? Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.